We have some great news that came out today for Dogecoin and the entire crypto market. All of it suggests that we're finally moving into the bull market again. So, let's talk about it. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we go any further, please keep in mind that we're giving away $100 to a random subscriber. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment on your favorite cryptocurrency. Read our description for more info about it. Now, let's get started with today's video. So, before we look at those bullish charts, let's take a look at Dogecoin price for a second. It's currently trading at 22.3 cents, and we've comfortably broken past the resistance level of 21 cents. It has risen by a massive 15% in the last 24 hours. That is incredible. But I think this is just the beginning. Let's look at some really unexpected data for Bitcoin now. So you can see that the Bitcoin supply shock is currently at levels that previously priced Bitcoin at 50 to 60k mark. Basically, the supply on big exchanges is low. And this means that we are going to explode from here. You remember when we had the all-time high of 65,000? Even then, the supply on exchanges was really low. And this is finally occurring again. This implies that the market is being taken over by the bulls. And you have to be prepared because Bitcoin is about to take off. And when that happens, Doge will follow it very quickly. This is what we saw today, and this is what we've been seeing for months. We've seen that the biggest altcoins like Dogecoin always follow Bitcoin when it's rising. Now, there are more reasons to be bullish. So, as you can see, for Bitcoin to reach its all-time high again, it's essential that Bitcoin stays above its 50-day moving average. And this is exactly what it's done. We saw this last year when Bitcoin exploded. So, if you remember, in October, Bitcoin broke over its 50-day EMA. This was important because it triggered a parabolic rise to nearly $65,000. And for a while it stayed above the 65K level. But after that, there was that huge drop. We had that gigantic fall where we saw it drop down to 35K again. And you are aware that Bitcoin had fallen below the 50-day moving average when that happened. You can see the chart here, and you can see that we've attempted to retest it several times in the last couple of months. We really tried to go back up above it, but we got turned down many times. But finally, we've gone above it again. And so, we're obviously on the rise, and this is why I'm so excited about it. Now, we'll look at another really bullish chart from today in a minute. Before we move forward, let's talk about a really interesting token I came across today called Mansion Token. Basically, it's the native token of Mansion Platform. So, the Mansion platform is going to build mansions all over the world. As an early holder, you'll get VIP access to its mansions, webcam parties, and live shows with supermodels. And you'll be able to handpick these supermodels like Playboy's Hugh Hefner himself. Now, a couple of things about it. The token runs on the deflationary protocol on the BSC chain. It has a total supply of 1 quadrillion, and 50% of it was burnt at launch. It also says here that your funds will be protected from market manipulation from whales. So Mansion will keep the whales at bay for the first year after launch. And another thing is that 1% fee from every transaction will be distributed among holders. So that's money spent coming back to your wallet. Currently you can buy it on MansionToken.com by clicking on this pancake swap button. Now, coming back to it, take a look at this. We have a short squeeze of more than $900 million. It means that 900 million worth of short positions got liquidated when Bitcoin broke past the 39k level. So basically, these people lost a lot of money betting against Bitcoin. This just suggests that the holders aren't as afraid as they were before. There's news coming out every single day about how Dogecoin and Bitcoin are doomed. But still, it looks like people aren't getting affected anymore. Now, we still have to look at some of those news just to be aware of them. So, this one says, time to ban cryptocurrencies. It also says that, who needs cryptocurrencies? Apart from the nasty uses and wild speculative value swings, data mining to produce Bitcoin is a serious environmental hazard. Now, we can't deny that Bitcoin mining has had a negative impact on the environment, but the data suggests that it's slowly getting better. 
If you talk about the speculative swings, then yes, cryptocurrencies definitely have those. But that's the inherent nature of cryptos. And this is also perhaps the most attractive part about cryptos. For instance, we saw a 10% increase in Bitcoin price in the last 24 hours. So, I think these articles fail to talk about the positive aspects too. And this is what spreads FUD in the market. Now, while we're at it, let's talk about another reason behind the FUD. So, a lot of countries are coming out with their digital currencies. There's obviously China, and even Japan is also thinking about it now. But the biggest news about digital currencies just came out that no one's talking about. So, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, is thinking about creating Bitcoin. Basically, it's going to be the digital version of pound sterling. Personally, I feel this is going to spread a lot of fear in crypto investors in the UK. But I still feel that it's not going to have a negative impact on crypto prices in the long run. Currently, only 5% of the entire population of the UK owns crypto. This is negligible. I'm sure the other 95% just needs to get a taste of what it would be like to use digital money to buy things. And once they realize how efficient it is, they'll also jump into Bitcoin because of the added benefit of its decentralized system. So, I think this is great news in disguise. Now, let's take a look at this price prediction that comes from the CEO of crypto derivatives exchange called Delta Exchange. Basically, he said that, for the first time in many weeks, we are seeing bullish signs here and expect Bitcoin to head toward the upper end of the 30K to 40K range. But Bitcoin should face little resistance between 35K and 40K levels. So, he's suggesting that Bitcoin isn't going to fall below the 35K level in the next two months. And I have to agree with that. There will be two biggest catalysts for it that'll make sure it doesn't fall below 35K. The first one is Tesla, which is going to announce that it's accepting Bitcoin again. And we know that Elon could come out with the announcement anytime soon. And the second one will be from Amazon, when they officially announce that they're going to integrate Bitcoin in their online platform. So after both of these, the entire market will explode. And we could see them happening later this year. Now, another thing that's really exciting is that more and more crypto ATM machines are being installed worldwide. In just one week, Circle K and Bitcoin Depot have installed more than 700 machines across the US and Canada. And all this is really bullish because these ATM machines enable people to buy Bitcoin offline. All you have to do is deposit money into it and select how much you want to buy. So, that's 24,000 touch points for people to buy crypto offline, which I think is incredible. Now, talking about mass adoption, real estate is also going to bring in a lot of money into the market. So, there are two properties in LA worth over $65 million that are accepting Bitcoin payments right now. They're basically doing this because their potential buyers, who are multi-billionaires, want to pay in Bitcoin instead of fiat money. And these are just two houses. There are many more examples like this. So, this just proves that the big guys are still very much interested in paying via crypto. Now with all this news coming out, I'm really excited about where Dogecoin is headed from here. As I said, it's going to closely follow Bitcoin's trajectory. Personally, I feel it could touch the 30 cents level and Bitcoin goes past 40k again. And it seems that it's going to happen pretty soon. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye. Take care.